Hello everyone, it's Melissa with Atlas CFO. Today we're talking about the top 10 ways that we can increase our cash flow using our job life cycle. So let's get started. The first thing to talk about is retention. Oh, we love to hate retention. The key to this is to get it up front. You want to put in your contract terms right in the beginning what your retention policy is. And if you don't ask, you don't get. So you can go ahead and ask for that 5% retention or how about zero retention. Hey, if it's a long-term customer and you guys have been together a while, why not ask? Next up, bill ahead. Okay, so we have a couple of billing ones. This one is billing ahead. That means look ahead a few weeks and see what costs are going to come at you and see if you can incorporate that into your current billing. Now, that always doesn't work if you've got some ODOT contracts. Many times that's not possible, but there are many contracts that it is possible. Those two to three weeks can make a big difference in your cash flow. Also looking for pre-billing opportunities. Another one you can negotiate in is mobilization. Some people do deposits and some people even pre-bill. So let's just break those down. The mobilization is what it's going to take to get on the job site. You have real costs before you even hit the job. So you might as well bill for them. Deposits. Most people know what these are, but a lot of companies will request 50% down, 20% down, 30% down. Hey, anything helps. And pre-billing. So this one comes into play if you've got a large material order or a large piece of equipment that you need to order. You can ask the customer to help you by pre-billing that amount and allowing them to pay so that you can pay the vendor and get that equipment on site. And more billing bill early, bill often. So billing early is about getting that bill and getting that invoice into your customers or the general contractor's hands. If they don't get it, it's really hard for them to pay it. And many times they're actually waiting for it. They have other steps that they need to do to make sure that they can get you paid. But until they have it in their hands, they can't do anything. The other one is bill often. So many times we see people that forget to bill, like, oh, they forgot to bill them. We recommend that you review your billings at least weekly to make sure that you didn't forget somebody, that there isn't an upcoming due date coming. So you want to make sure that you stay on top of that. Collection calls, everyone's favorite. We actually have this built into our advanced cash flow class because uh, there's there's some trepidation over collection calls, but there doesn't need to be. Most of the time when you call, you get a friendly voice on the other side, especially whenever you're treating it well too. You just need to know what's going on and you're receiving collection calls and you're nice to them when they call, so give it a try. Pay when paid. So yeah, this one can be fun, but a very important piece. Our industry is seeing accounts receivable turns go longer and longer, and some of our subcontractors, we're seeing even 75 day collection terms. At the same time, we've got a vendor that is requesting being paid, let's say in 30. So we'll actually go through two months before we even get the money that we have already paid our vendor. So this, aligning this pay when paid is very important. It's a little easier with subcontractors because they've been doing this a while, but even material vendors can be very understanding when you, un, when you explain the terms of what you're dealing with and, and work a, out a solution together. Main key to this is you don't pay until you've been paid. So when that money comes in, you then pay it out. A lot of times we get that crossways and it creates cash flow trouble. Vendor terms. This goes kind of right in hand in hand with our last one. I have been amazed at how awesome our vendors were with us. They worked with us. They came up with terms that met our, our, delivery dates, they kind of met terms that met with our customer terms, and there was even better price lists that we can negotiate. So many times we kind of forget about that very important vendor relationship that we can cultivate. There's a win-win there, and maybe it's an early pay discount that makes it even more affordable for you to pay them early. But whatever it is, get with your top vendors and make a big difference in that one. Keep the end in mind, we know this one very well. But at the end, there is like so much to do. Paperwork, red line drawings, there's the punch list, and you know, and sometimes the punch list never ends. But anything that you can do to get that work done in the beginning saves you so much time in the end. And you know what that saves you? The time it takes to get your money. That, that last AIA pay app and that last bit of retention can come in that much sooner whenever this is all handled and taken care of. 
And finally, our last tip, change orders. Yeah, no one likes surprises, and a lot of times change orders, they kind of get pushed off until the end, and then surprise, here's our change orders, and nobody's happy. Whenever change orders are managed on a weekly basis, everybody is fine most of the time, but everyone understands that, hey, we have an issue, we're going to get it fixed, it's up in front of everybody's face. And if you have a problem, you know that maybe you shouldn't do the work, or maybe you, you stop work but managed on a weekly basis will protect your cash flow. I've enjoyed spending this time with you. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Now, if you would like a copy of this PowerPoint, um, we've had some people ask, we are going to put it on our website. So you can go to atlascfo.com. And then we'll also put just kind of a checklist of these items. So many times, some of these are things you can do and um, other ones you really need your team to help you with. So we want to make sure that this is all available so that you can use it and share it. And just go to our website and you will see a box. Click on that and we'll get it over to you. Thanks. I hope you're having a great day and we'll talk to you soon.